Hello everyone, my name is Adrian, and I am a group exercise instructor at the University of North Texas. Today we will be doing a full body HIIT workout. So stay with me and let's get started. Let's start just with an opposite hand, opposite toe touch, nice and wide right here. Down and touching that opposite foot. Join me whenever you're ready. Start with 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We'll go one time through with those intervals, and then we'll go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And I'll show you how that will go. But these are our four exercises before we get started. So first one, we're gonna have our hands behind your neck right here. You're coming down into your squat, touching one foot, back to jump just like this, back and forth. And you can follow me along when you start or do it on your own as slow or fast as you want. If you want to take it down a little bit, you can take this just to a step back and forth right here, take out that jump. Number two, we're gonna to go to an explosive halo slam. So we're gonna go up with our hands and down, slamming on the ground in that squat, back up to calf raise, slamming on the ground. Slow this down for a modification. Next one is gonna be alternating knee strikes. Arms are gonna come up. We're pushing that knee down one at a time right here. Nice and quick. And then our last move for this set will be side to side bear curl. So we're gonna be right here. Knees are slightly raised off the ground. We'll go side to side for a few steps and then back and forth right here. Those are our moves for today for the first set. Let's go ahead and get started with 40 on, 20 off. Side to side prisoner squat is first. Let's go in three, two, one. Get those arms behind. Right here. This is our move. And if you're modifying today, you can just step it out. Back and forth right here. Try to add that jump if you can. Nice small tap. Getting down low like you're sitting in a little chair. And you're over halfway. Let's go. Nice job. Land softly if you can on those feet. Last five seconds. Three, 
two, last one, and rest. Awesome job, we'll have 20 seconds rest here. Our next move will be that explosive halo slam, coming up and slamming on the ground into calf raise as you come up. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, up and down as fast as you can. To modify this move, you can slow it down a little bit. Don't go quite as low, decrease that range of motion. But you can try to get as low as possible. Add that calf raise. Arms come all the way up, alternate sides. Nice job. You're over halfway. Heels come on the ground at the bottom here. You got it, five seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome job, 20 second rest. We're gonna switch to those alternating knee strikes. Hands come up, pushing down that knee as hard as you can. In about 10 seconds, you got it. Shake it out. In three, two, one, arms are up. Push that knee down. If you wanna take it up a little bit, add a little hop. Right here, arms come all the way up, all the way down. Keep that chest high. 20 seconds left. good so far go ahead and grab some water and we're gonna repeat the same exercises but with 30 second intervals instead so it'll be 30 on 30 off which means you're gonna go with even more intensity than you did last time so don't waste any seconds of that 30 second work and make sure you take that entire 30 second rest we're gonna start back at the top with those side to side prisoners. Get ready, open up that chest. Here we go, side to side prisoners. In five, four, three, two, one, arms are behind, stepping out, nice big squat jump. Get it up, higher intensity this time. We're almost halfway. 15 seconds left now. Keep it up, chest is high. Woo! All right, three, two, one, and rest. Take the whole rest. Breathe through it. Next move is gonna be that explosive halo slam. Trying to make it even more explosive into that calf raise up at the top. And we'll start in about 10 seconds. Get ready, shake it out. I hope you guys are feeling great today. We got three, two, one, wide leg, explosive halo. Up, two, that calf raise. 
You got it. Side view here. Calf raise up here. Heels come off the ground. Nice job. If you want to add a little jump, you can do that too. But we only have 10 seconds left. Push through it. You have three, two, last one, and rest. Nice job. Alternating halos or alternating knee strike is coming up next. 20 seconds of rest to go. Keep breathing. We have two exercises left in this set, guys. Let's do it. We got 10. Five, four, three, two, arms are up, and one. Here we go. Nice and quick. Up that intensity if you can. Add a little hop. Go ahead and do it right here. Push it down. Halfway. 30 seconds left. Keep it up. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome job. One last move. We're gonna be on the ground for the next one, working those shoulders, working the quads in that low bear crawl. 20 seconds of rest to go. Nice, deep breaths here, keep that chest high. Make sure you breathe through this move. We're on the ground here, starting in 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back and forth. Take a few steps, side to side. Keep those knees low. This will help engage your core the whole time. Take breaks whenever you need to, but try to make it through the whole time. You have 15 seconds left. Last 10. Breathe through it, let's go. You got five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome job. Take some deep breaths here. We're gonna take a longer rest before we start the next set. So I hope you're feeling good. We got through set one. We're gonna do one more set exactly like that, same format, but we'll have different exercises. And then the last set, will just be 40 on, 20 off, and we'll go straight through that. So we just got a little bit to go. The next set, here we go. So here are our moves. We're gonna start with a squat to inside foot tap. Getting low here, one foot comes up, touching the inside of that foot. I'll show you quick, quicker, quicker here. Like that. If you want to take it down a little bit, decrease that range of motion, just add a little bit of a foot reach for some stability work. After that, we're going to go to the ground, do some forward and back plank taps. So we're going to come back here, opposite hand touches opposite knee. Back and forth right here. Option, you can hold a plank or take out the hand tap right here. Number three, we're gonna go to curtsy lunge switches. One foot comes back behind this foot, lunging down, knee touches the ground, and then we'll switch to the other side. And a nice little jump, or you can step back and forth right here. Last move, we're gonna hit those legs again hard in this set. Last move's gonna be a jumping jack to squat, getting some cardio in, getting those quads. Jumping jack to squat, touching the ground if you can, if not, you're right here. You can step it out for that jumping jack. Step it in for the squat. Let's do it. At the top, squat to inside. Foot tap in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, down low. Get it up. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. First time through. Second time will be 30 on, 30 off. But you're focusing right now on this move and not what you're eating for dinner or what you ate for lunch. <laughs> We're talking about your movement 
and getting stronger in this moment. Even though I want to think about what I'm eating for dinner. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Pick it up. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. 20 second rest. We're going to go to the ground for that forward and back plank push with the alternate knee tap. Get ready. Legs are out in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Push through it. This one's gonna engage your quads and your shoulders here. As you come forward, make sure your hands are under your shoulders and not out too far. Make sure your booty's pretty low right here and not up here. Let's keep going. You're halfway now. Ten seconds left. Push through those quads. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Shake it out. Stand it up. Next move will be those curtsy lunge switches. Stepping it back. Curtsy lunge. Jumping to the other side or stepping to the other side. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Step it back and switch it out right here. Nice job. Keep it up. Again, you can step it out. This is going to work your quads, the outside of your thighs here, your glutes and your core as you keep that chest high and keep it strong right here. You have about 10 seconds to go. Just keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job. Last move for 40 on, 20 off in this set. Jumping jack to squat. This is one of my favorites, I love this move. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Get it up, jumping jack, squat down low. Keep those knees out. Make sure they're not caving in right here. Make a conscious effort to keep them straight ahead of you. Keep it light on those toes if you can't quite get there. You're right here, keeping that chest high the entire time. You're looking ahead of you, and you have less than 15 seconds left. Keep it up. Can you speed it up just a little bit? And we have 10. Three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Amazing job. I hope you're feeling great right now. I'm sweating a lot, so hopefully you're with me. We will do that set one more time. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Just like we did with the first one. This time again, if you can, take it up a little bit more for those squat to inside foot tap. More power through the legs. Forward and back plank, same thing. Push through those quads, resting on the shoulders. Curtsy lunge, switches. You're gonna push through as hard as you can through those feet, landing softly and lightly if you can. Same thing with the jump, jumping jack to squat. Picking it up on that jumping jack, and we're gonna start back at the top in about 20 seconds. First move, squat to inside foot tap. Let's shake it out, and we'll start in about 10. Get ready. Two deep breaths. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nice deep squat. Foot tap right here. Keeping that chest up. Power through those legs, landing nice and softly. Can you speed it up just a little bit more? Controlled, quick motions. You have 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, 
two and rest. Awesome job. 20 second rest. Next one is, oh sorry, 30 second rest. Next one is that forward and back plank tap. And we'll start in about 10 seconds. Get on the ground. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, forward and back plank. And then we're on to our last set. So I'm gonna get water and then I'll explain the next set. It's going to be our burnout set. So this means you're gonna burn out everything you did so far. I know we focused on legs a lot. This burnout set is gonna focus on full body. Lots of different moves here. And you're gonna push all the way to the end. We will go 40 on, 20 off, one time through and that's our workout so first set or sorry first move is going to be plank jack shoulder tap so we'll be right here on the ground on your mat if you have one plank jack shoulder tap if you want to do it at the same time you can do that as well in and out for an option modification of step it out step it out tap tap trying to keep that core tight the whole time Second move is gonna be burpees. So we're gonna jump it up as high as you can. Nice vertical jump here. Hands are gonna land on the ground, feet jump back into a plank. And you're back up right here. We're not doing a push up because our third move is push ups. So these are on your knees or your toes. You're gonna to come all the way to the ground. Elbows come out at a 45 degree angle and back up right there. If you want, you can go on your knees. Last move, it's gonna be some lateral sprints. We'll go back and forth, taking a couple steps to the side, touching the ground right here. If you want, you can slow it down. Don't quite touch the ground for a modification. Let's finish it out. Everyone, you're doing amazing, and I know you can push through this last set. Starting on that ground, on the ground, 
for your plank jack, shoulder tap. 40 on, 20 off, one time through. Let's do it. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Keep that core tight. Try not to bounce too much. If you find yourself bouncing, slow it down and try to figure out where the instability is in your core. You're focusing on those legs coming outwards and not up. And you have less than 10 seconds left. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome job. Next move, we're gonna go into those burpees for 40 seconds. Nice big vertical jump up, hands landing, jumping back. Option here is to step it out instead of jumping it out and I'll show you that. In three, two, one, here we go. This is our option, stepping it out, stepping it back, out of vertical jump, everyone else, we're right here. 30 seconds left. Pick it up. You're halfway. Keep that core tight. Big vertical jump. Can you go even higher? Less than 10. Five, four, three, two. Jump it up and rest. Awesome job. Next move is gonna be on the ground for those push-ups. Get ready, we got 10 seconds of rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Try to challenge yourself. Do as many as you can on your toes before switching to your knees. Nice tight score that will help keep you up. Butterfly, leaning toward those feet. 
inhaling as I come down, we'll exhale. Let's do it together. Inhale up, exhale down, two more. Inhale up, exhale down, last one. Inhale up, and exhale down. Thank you so much for coming to my workout. Again, my name is Adrienne. I teach strength and cardio classes at UNT, and I'd be happy to see you at any of my classes virtually or on YouTube. Thank you for being here.